our um, uh, at our chapel session um, on Friday at school, um, I had said good morning to all the students. And it was like, no, you know, no one says anything. And so um, I just reminded them of scripture. I believe it's Psalms 118. Um, uh, 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 David, David begins to uh, 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 was talking about, um, um, uh, you know, I, I, uh, scripture says, I, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And, and you know, and the song says, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, I, I mean, all of these things that we've heard, uh, you know, before in our life. And I just began to think about this, man, um, God's grace is so amazing. Um, and then the, the Bible says in Ephesians, he says uh, that God was so uh, rich in mercy that he gave us a gift. So God's grace is amazing. God's um, um, uh, uh, mercy, he's so rich in mercy. This is who he is. This is, these are some attributes about him. Um, I think we can do, I think, I think that should make us appreciate the mornings that much more. Oh, man. I think that should make us appreciate the mornings that much more. So, so, so we, we ought to be happy that we get to walk into the house of the Lord um, one more time. This is not a church um, saying. This is a, 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 a your personal testimony saying. Your personal testimony. When you think about all the things that God has done for you, when you think about how favor has found you and you ain't do nothing, and you hadn't did anything to, to, to earn that or to deserve it, we ought to give God a better good morning than what we do, right? So let's try this one more time. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, you're not, and, and you're not saying good morning. It's great you said good morning to me, man, but you are truly um, uh, are appreciating what he has done for you. You appreciate the life he has given you. The past few months, or past months, I should say, or a month and a half, we've just been seeing people, um, lives have been lost, right? We've seen lives have been lost. We've seen um, 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 things have, have really hit uh, communities. Things have really hit people personally um, uh, because loved ones have, have went on to glory. And, and so... Um, it just makes me think about, man, God, you still have me here. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm here for a reason. So we ought to celebrate the fact that God is so, his, his mercy is great. His love is great. He's such a good, good father that he has not punched our card yet. Right? He hasn't punched our card yet, man, but he still has allowed for us to have breath in our body to be able to breathe and, and, to, and, to, and to talk and to communicate. And the only thing he, he wants from us, man, I think we can at least say good morning to him every single morning. He's great. Before we get into um, the intro of, 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 of FFBC and church and everything, we're going to have communion. We're going to take communion. Um, we haven't, we, to be honest, and, and this is all on me, um, we haven't we had taken communion in a long time. Um, um, and, and God has been dealing with me on on that. And so when I came up, when I, I was actually um, up exercising in my in my neighborhood, walking in my neighborhood this early this morning, seven o'clock this morning, God says, "Man, don't forget, you must have communion with me first, and don't forget to teach the, the church the importance of communion." And so as I just begin to just reflect on what the Apostle Paul was teaching the church in Corinth. He was telling a, 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 a disorganized church, a dysfunctional church, um, 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 how to, or, or the importance of communion, along with other things. And so one of the things that he, tell, he told them, he says, man, to remember what these elements represent, that these elements represent the body and they represent the blood of, of our Lord and Savior, um, and, and, and to remember what he has done for us. I was watching um, uh, 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 a nature channel um, uh, uh, dealing with alligators. <laughs> and they showed this, this guy um, trying to go in to uh, uh, get the eggs that the alligator, or, 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 or the eggs that the alligators uh, 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 had, had just um, um, had. And so 
this female alligator was like, nah, you ain't messing with my stuff. And I, I'm one of those ones where I'm just waiting on the moment. <laughs> that alligator about to snap you. It's about to get you. Like, I'm waiting on that. I'm like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I love to see when them animals drinking their water. I'm like, do you not see those eyes right there? Like, do you not see the bubbles? Do you not? But you got to get you one more drink. You really got to get one more drink. You, you, you are that thirsty that you, you're willing to risk your life. When you see the head go down, you no longer see the eyes no more. So you know something is there. You, you're not that naive. You're not that dumb. Come on, animal. You, you got to know better, right? And so I'm just waiting on that moment, and then the moment comes, and I'm like, I told, like, I'm talking to the TV. Like, I told you that was about to happen. And so I'm watching this alligator, um, or this crocodile, uh, 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 defend her babies. And this man was trying to get the eggs, maybe to protect them, to do something I wasn't even paying attention to the report. I was just watching the behavior of the alligator. The alligator says, I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to protect my young, even if it means you doing something to me. If, even if it means you hurting me, I'm going to do something to where my baby will be free. So when I think of Jesus and I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, I truly understand why my big mama would say my soul cries out hallelujah because I think about what he has done in my life and I think about um, um, what his body uh, represents and what his blood represents. It represents more than just cracking juice. It represents more than just something that we do in church, but it represents freedom for me. It represents deliverance for me. And I don't know who you are or what you may be going through, who's here now or, wh or whoever watching. We've all have a story. We've all went through something. We've all overcame something. And we, was over, and we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. So when we take communion, man, just remember, everything we do, we do it um, uh, in remembrance of Jesus. We do it in Jesus' name. We remember the body that was broken for us. And we remember the cup. The blood that was shed for us. Paul says, as often as you eat or drink, do it in remembrance of Jesus. Let's eat together, let's drink together. So Father, we pray and we thank you that we can have communion with you, fellowship with one another to remember what you have done for us. What you have done for us is so precious that we can't put a price on it. We know that we can never repay you, that we are forever in debt to you. We give you the glory for everything that you have done, and we pray that everything that has been done with communion has been done in Deacon and in Rome. This is acceptable in your sight. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And all God's people said, amen. amen. Let's give Jesus a hand clap. <laughs> all right, now, 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 let's try this again. Good morning. Good morning. Man, we want to welcome you to Full of Faith Bible Church, where our church mission is. Faith building through Bible teaching for, for living, living, growth, and, and discipleship. And we are a church that what? Love God and love people. Yeah, come here, brother. If y'all don't see this shirt, this is what we stand for. This is what we all about right there. We're all about loving God and loving people. Can we give him a hand clap? Brother Pat, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love God and we love people. Listen, we love you, and we want to welcome you to FFBC, man, whether you're with us physically or, or virtually. We thank you. You could be uh, uh, watching any church service right now, but at 11 o'clock, you faithfully tune in um, um, to us to see what God has to say through um, this church, and so we are forever, forever grateful. Listen, do me a favor. I need for you to like and subscribe um, um, to our uh, Facebook page, the YouTube channel. Uh, and I need for you to hit that share button right now. If you're watching right now, 
hit that share button. Listen, when you hit that button, it helps uh, uh, um, spread the word of God all over the world. Your friends can now spread it to their friends and their friends can spread it to their friends. Man, we got people all over the world. This is not a brag or boast moment, but I found out we got people literally all over the world who tune in to us at this hour. And so we are forever, forever grateful. And that's because of your help. You are help spreading um, God's word. You are help, therefore, you are help spreading God's love. So share that page. Now, I need, I, this is something we're going to do every week as well. Type in where you're watching us from. Where you're watching us from. You're watching us from, from Texas, Oklahoma, California, Canada. We've got people all over the place that is watching us. And so we are forever, forever grateful to you. Next thing I need you to do, man. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your leaders. And let me add this even in there. Pray for your church. Pray for your church, man. Uh, 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 what I am discovering is that, man, uh, um, people are ready to put the blame on the church for everything. People want to put the blame on the pastor for everything. And so, man, pray for your spiritual leaders because we need guidance. We need help and we need encouragement as well, man. So listen, I believe that God is going to do something great. I believe that he's going to do something awesome today. I believe that he's going to uh, uh, teach us the things that he want on, wants us to know today that's going to impact our lives, not only today, but our lives forever. Let me pray for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. We're just asking that you just come into this place and just reign and rule and and, and whatever you see fit, Father God, you let it take place today. You get the glory and all the praise, all honor that is due to you. We love you and we praise you. We pray today, Father God, that someone asks the question, what must I do to be saved? We pray today, Father God, that someone's fire is, is, is uh, 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 ignited again, Father God, that it is, it's, it's lighting up like, like it used to, that it's blazing uh, uh, like like never before. Father, we pray today that someone is healed. We pray today that someone is set free. We pray today that deliverance happens. We pray today that your word goes forth. And your word says that when your word goes forth, it does not come back void. And so we are believing that, that, that what you are going to teach today is going to impact the lives of people. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And all God's people said, amen. done great things. Amen? And he is yet doing great things within us, for us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for who you are, God, and we thank you that you have done great things, that you're a mighty, that you have all power, God, that you're our Savior, that it is your name that we lift up.
Jesus, our Savior, may lift it high, oh God, you have done great things, you have done great things, you have done great things, nobody's greater than you, nobody's stronger than you. Psalm says he has done great things. And I kind of sprung this on my wife at the last minute this morning. 
because as I was just, again, my morning meditation, my morning devotional as I was out, you know, working out, um, it's peaceful, it's quiet. I just get to reflect on everything God has done for me and my family. There's no noise, there's no TV, there's no phones, there's no, there, there, there's nothing. I just get to just be in, enjoying God's creation, just, just like I can just hear his voice in my ear, just reminding me of what he has done in my life. Man, thank you, Jesus. And then she added on and said, man, there's nobody greater than you. Like, there's no one greater than the one who has delivered me from everything he has delivered me from. You know, I, I, I was, I was, you know, uh, 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 I wasn't like no hood dude or nothing like that, but I hung out with people who were, and I just began to do things that that um, that that people did, and and um, end up drinking a lot, and drinking a lot, and drinking a lot, and drinking a lot, and drinking a lot, to where it just became part of my character, and God delivered me from that. I mean, I just think about everything that He has, um, um, every addiction, every every spell Satan has tried to put over me and put over me, you know, and everything he's tried to do. I think how, how he has protected me and my family as we travel, as we sleep. Thank you, God. Let me say this real quick. We'll get in God's word. Man, um, uh, one day me and my wife came home, and, and so I came home first, and I'm like, man, what in the world is this smell in my house? Like, this is awful. Like, what is it? Some, is it the trash? So I, me, I'm trying to light all and, and pine all everything, right? I'm taking out the trash and everything. Then my wife came on. She was like, nah, this ain't trash. This is gas. Smell gas. We didn't know. This is the first time we've ever had gas in our house. And so we didn't know that the, that the switch on the stove wasn't turned all the way off. And we done slept through the night and everything. And that, that smell, and if you don't know what the, the how dangerous gas can be, man, that, you could possibly not wake up. And 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 to where, man, we we open up the windows and we had to get out the house for a few hours just to kind of let that smell go. But I think about how God has protected us. How how not only did we um um he he wake us up, but man, there was no explosion. There like like nothing nothing happened. God covered us. So I don't take songs like he has done great things. I don't take those things for granted because I think about what he has done in our lives, man. I think about how he has rescued us. So I, now I, I can, I can, I have a testimony to say he is my refuge. Yes. And I think part of the problem is, is that we we don't think about our testimony. We or, or maybe you feel like I don't have a story. Yes, you do have a story. God has done something. He is to where you can identify him as something, as your refuge, as your salvation, as your savior, your deliverer, your healer, your provider, your protector. He has done something for you. And we ought to celebrate that, man. We ought to celebrate that. Listen, that, that, that's why, thank you, God. That's why, um, um, can I be honest, when the body of Christ comes together, we all should have something to celebrate. We all have a story of, of, of whatever our week has been. It may not be something big and gigantic, but man, you are alive. You have something to celebrate when you come into the house of God. That's why when people, uh, 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 when you go to some churches, you see people crying. You see people hands lifted. You see people bowing and kneeling. You see people shouting. You see people doing all these things, man. And, and, and I pray, and, and, and you know, I know some may be doing it out of routine, but there are some genuine people out there that say, you know what? I'm celebrating. I'm crying. I'm emotional because of what God has done for me. Yeah. It's a personal reflection. It's a personal reflection, and you have to have that personal reflection, that personal devotion, that personal moment to where you say, God, I, I, I never realized that it was you who have brought me out of that line again. I, it was you who has delivered me. It was you. It was nobody else. No, nobody else can, can do what you do. We lift your name. 
name higher above any name. No other name like the name of Jesus. I promise you that, man. You got to make that personal. You got to make that personal. Let, let's get into this word. Sorry, y'all. Oh, ahead. my goodness. Ah, you got to make it personal. You got to make it personal. Because Satan, watch this. Satan is making it personal with you. He's personally trying to, uh, uh, he, is, he has, uh, uh, has a personal plan that he has for you in mind. Because what may hurt you uh, may not hurt me, may not hurt you, may not hurt you. But he says, you know what, I got another plan for them, but I know exactly what's going to get you. I, I know it's going to happen. So he's making it personal. The, the moment you give your life to Jesus, Satan has made it personal with you. He's made it personal. And, and, and he's out to, 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 to steal, kill, and destroy. He's out to attack. He's out to do some harmful things to you. And so you ought to celebrate the fact that God has surrounded you. My dad is singing his song, and he's singing his heart out. He say, it may look like I'm surrounded. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. I'm surrounded by who? I'm surrounded by you, God. You have all your angels surrounding me to where Satan can't get to me like he wants to. It's personal. That's why I love to see my daddy sing it, because my daddy gets all into it because it's personal for him. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. <laughs> this is how I fight my battle. Oh, my goodness. Let's get to the word. Oh, oh, oh man. Let's get to the word. God has done some great things, man. He has done some great things. I, uh, man, I, I'm just, just I'm just having a personal moment. He, he's done some great things. I remember, thank you, Jesus. I remember um, um, uh, before we got the house that we're in right now, um, it came down to the last moment. We, 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 we were walking on faith. God, we're believing that you're going to do it, but nothing had been finalized yet. We had already packed up. My daddy had already brought the U-Haul up. We had already packed up everything was packed. We were ready to move. We were ready to go. And nothing was finalized. And I remember we was at the store getting gas and we got the phone call. It said the house is yours. And I remember the reaction from my wife. To where we out in front of everybody at the gas station and she just stopped and she just hugged me and she just cried and she cried because it was nobody but God who made that happen. Credit ain't right. Right? Credit is jacked up, but God made a way. God, there is nothing that can stop the plan of God. There is nothing that can stop the move of God. If God wants to bless his children, guess what? There is nothing Satan can do to stop that blessing. And I believe that that's what God has done in our life. We ought to thank you, Jesus. We ought to celebrate the fact that many of us are like Noah and many of us are like Mary, meaning that favor has found us. It's nothing we have done. The Bible, thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that, that Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Wasn't that Noah did? Except love the Lord. That was nothing Mary did. Except love the Lord. And, and, and favor, uh, 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 the, the angel tells Gabriel, uh, the, uh, the, the angel tells Mary, uh, God has found favor with you. And he has found favor with you, 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 and me. I ain't going to leave me out of it. He found favor. I, like, I found favor in the sight of the Lord. So now I understand. I keep going back to this song. I keep going back to this song. I keep going back to this. And what my big mama said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. And, yeah, we got we to gotta stretch it back. And all he has done for me. We got to go back with it. We got to get old school with it. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Does anybody have a hallelujah in their spirit right now? He has done great things, man. That's why, thank you, Jesus. That's why I continue to I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemy. Because there is nothing that Satan can do to stop me. There is nothing he can do to stop me. He can throw all these different things out there. But God has been too great for me to turn my back on him. The blessings may not come when we want them. Oh, oh, dotty people. Ooh. But he's always on time. He's an old, what on time God is. Oh, yes, yeah, can we go to, man, boy, don't get an organ play out here. Got some dotty peoples up in here. Oh, my goodness. Y'all know, know the song. He's an old-time God. Oh, yes, he is. 
right? I can, I can see the old school say singing that right now. And, and, and the things I used to make fun of, I get it now. Because God has took me through some journeys. And when I go through these journeys, I now understand uh, 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 what the season saints would sing about and why they would have those uh, 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 those deacons. The old, you know the old school church, those deacons get up there and sing those old school hymns. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Sing those old bread of heaven and all these other stuff. I get it now. I get it because God has done some great things. He has rained bread down when my bank account says you can't even afford bread. Oh, my goodness. He has rained uh, bread down when I go to the ATM and the ATM says you only got a dollar in the account. Uh, He has rained. And that that just literally happened the other day. I'm trying to tell you that God has been faithful. He has been faithful. He has been faithful, man. And we ought to celebrate the fact that God loves us. He's a good, good father. And David said the scripture. I was young, now I'm old, but never have I seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Oh, if God will provide, oh, you try, girl, don't, don't start that. If God will provide for the birds in the air, if God will provide for the fish in the sea, what makes you think God will provide for us? He has done some great things yes. for us. You think about when, 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 the, when, when everyone wants to say no when God says yes. You think about your life. You think about how many people have turned their back on you. You think about how things could be great in your life. And God has made it crystal clear. You think about how, 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 how God has said yes. yes. How God has said yes. And you know what he wants us to do? Say yes. Yes to his will. Yes to his ways. I say yes, Lord. Yes. Uh Oh, can I go old school? Uh Uh-oh, I I, I got a big bubble moment right now. Completely yes. My soul (laughs) says yes. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm going back. God has delivered it. Uh, uh, Yes, Lord, from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Completely yes. Oh, I love that. That's that thing out. Completely yes. My soul says yes. I say yes to you, Lord. Oh, man. I'm trying to get to this. I'm trying, but I'm having a personal shouting moment with inside me right now because I think about everything God has done for me. I think about how he has protected me when my, top, when my car has had bad tires. I think about how he has protected me uh, uh, from the accident. Uh, uh, my wife had a, a major accident herself uh, uh, right there on Highway 35. Uh, I think when Jazz was little. Uh, 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 how he has just covered us. How he has covered us. How he has protected us. How he has freed us. How he has set us free. How he has delivered us. How he has provided for us. How he has shielded us. How he has done great things for us, man, that nobody can get the credit for except him. That nobody can get the credit except him. Listen, I, 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 I'm going to hear just a little bit of what we're going to talk about today. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, um, we we got to do this. Grab your Bible. Lift, lift, lift your Bible. Lift your Bible. Real quick. Hey! There it is. Hold on. Turn it off. Turn it off. Grab your Bible. Say, this is my Bible. My it is a true word of God, word of God. and I believe, I believe every word in it, every word in it. Simply, because simply because it's God's very breath. Watch this. Okay. Thank, thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to move on. Um, but we say that we believe every word in it. Yes. Do you not know that God's word says you are an overcomer? Yes. That, that, that you are an overcomer. Watch this. That, God, that God's word says you have been redeemed. That, that God's word says you have been set free. That God says that you are victorious. That God's word says all of that. And so if God's word says that, then there's no way we should be walking in defeat. There's no way we should be setting, uh, 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 allowing Satan to, to uh, 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 encamp within us and tell us that you can't overcome, you can't make it out, you still giving in the devil, you still doing this. Listen, the Bible says who the Son has set free is free indeed. Man, you are walking in freedom right now. Jesus Christ has freed you. 
He has freed you. He has set you free. She's trying to start something right here. She has set you. He has set you free. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Go to Psalms. Go to Psalms. Go to Psalms. Chapter 29. Psalms chapter 29. I, 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 I'm i going to read just a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. God's been too good to me. For me not to <laughs> for me not to appreciate his favor. He's been good to me. Mm. Woo! <laughs> Better God do this one time. Psalm 29. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read it from um, uh, the CSB Bible version. Uh, I'm gonna try to summarize um, uh, uh, some other Bible versions as well. Um, this is David talk. Uh, David speaking right here. Um, um, thank you, Jesus. Oh my goodness. Just like fire. <laughs> Shut up in my bum. Come on. Mm. Man. I believe today is the day what we just need to reflect and celebrate. If God has been good to you, I dare you to stand up and just begin to open up your mouth and tell him thank you for all of his goodness, for his grace, how he has brought you out of debt, how he has brought you into his marvelous life. Think back of what he has done for you. He's been good, he's been good, he's been good, he's been good, he's been good. He's been good, he's been good, he's been good, he's been good. He's been good, he's been good, he's been good, he's been good. God, you have been great. You have been faithful to us, even though we have not been faithful to you. You have been you have been there for us, even though we have always been there for, for, for one another. You have been there for us. You have never turned to thank you, Jesus. You have never turned your back on me. Even when I turned my back on you, even when I was still doing things that I know is not of you, you still have not expired my grace card. You still have allowed me to walk this earth. You still have allowed me to function. You still allow me to breathe. You still allow me to move. You still allow me to teach. You still allow me to be a daddy. You still allow me to be a pastor. You still allow me to be a husband. You still allow me to do some graces. You have done great things in my life. You ought to celebrate the fact that he has been good. What has he saved you from? He's brought you out of something. What, symbol, what, what was in your life that symbolized darkness? He has delivered you from that. You have seen the light. You have seen the light. The Bible says, thank you, God. The Bible says that when when um, uh, 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 when, when Paul uh, uh, went to Damascus, he went to Damascus, that he met a man that, that Ananias came. And An when Ananias came, the, uh, God told Ananias, uh, Jesus told Ananias, Go, go to a street called Straight. You're going to find a man named Saul, but his name is Paul. You're going to find Paul, and when you go there, I need for you to pray for him, right? I need for you to pray for him. And Ananias said, well, I done heard his story. I know his past. I know who he used to be. Thank God you're not who you used to be. I know who he used to be. And because I know who he used to be, I'm afraid to approach him because he may have me killed. And God says, he ain't that way no more. That's not who he is no more. He ain't identified as Saul no more. But now he's a child of mine. He's a worker of mine. He's a servant of mine. I need for you to go to him, and I need for you to pray for him. And the Bible says that when Anan, thank you, Jesus, that when Ananias prayed for Paul, that something like scales fell off his eyes. And Paul even says later in the scripture, I was blind, 
but now I see. Satan wants you, only wants you to see the darkness, to where your eyes is closed, to where you only see your problems, to where you only see your past. But God has delivered you, and he says, open up your eyes and see the freedom. Open up your eyes and see the light. Open up your eyes and see where I'm taking you. Open up your eyes and see where I brought you from. You ain't who you used to be no more. You're a different person now. Well, you used to hate people. Now you love God and you love people. <laughs> well, you used to cuss people out. Now you want to call them big heads. <laughs> right? Well, you used to do all these devilish things. But now everything you do, you're trying to honor the Lord. Because you're not who you used to be anymore. Because God has freed you and he has delivered you. The scales have been removed. You can now see the goodness of the Lord. And I will remain confident in this. And I will see the salvation, the goodness of the Lord. Now I can see, oh my goodness, that's what makes his grace amazing. He brought you, he delivered you from something. And he's brought me a mighty, mighty long way. Oh man. Mm. Let me give you a few moments to just reflect on what God has done for your life. And then I'm going to pray for us collectively. And then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get out of here. The importance of living and following the Holy Spirit directly. What has God done for you? <laughs> what has he done? What has he done for me? He has done great things for me. And that's why I can say, man, listen, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, what Joshua said, talking about me and my army, we will serve the Lord. I don't care what anybody else is doing, but nothing is going to make me doubt Jesus. Jesus did something that nobody else could do. He defeated death. And I know people say, well, 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 Lazarus was brought back to life, right? Lazarus was brought back to life. Didn't he defeat death? Lazarus still died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These other so-called gods are still in the tomb. But Jesus resurrected and he's alive and still working. He's done some great things. He's done some great things. He's done some great things. God, I thank you for the great things you have done in the past, and I believe that you're going to do greater things in the future. God, you are amazing. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. Yeah. God turned it around. Oh my goodness. Mm. What has he turned around in your life? What has God turned around in your life? The very thing that was causing problems in your life, the very thing that was stopping you from, from experiencing 
uh, um, freedom, the very thing that has been that stopping you from seeing the light, what has God turned around in your life? What has he done for you? What has he done for you? God is doing more in your life than what you can even imagine. More than what you can even imagine. Watch it. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Pastor Kyle said it's not a blessing that's about to rain on me. We love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you. We thank you. We thank you. We're believing and hoping right now that through this message that you have, that you have uh, uh, strategically designed to go forward, <laughs> which definitely wasn't my plan, all your plan, that someone will reflect and think about what God has done in their life. And I pray that the very thing that they've been holding on to, that they will release it to where they can truly experience the freedom that you have for them. You turned it around. You're turning it around. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Watch this, man. We're, we're, uh, 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 the, 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 the word says, you're, we're blessed in the city. We're blessed. Uh, the song says, we're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go, right? And then, and the, you know, the, 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 one of the favorite parts of the song, and God's going to turn it around, and everybody's saying, and around, and around, and around. Y'all know the song, and around that old Fred Hammond, and around, and around. We're blessed in the city, right? Listen, we're blessed coming in. We're blessed coming out, right? This is the word. This is the word. God has been faithful. And God, we thank you for turning it around. Turning it around. Turning it around. Turning it around. I'm not where I used to be. God, you turned it around. I'm not who I used to be. God, you turned it around. God, I'm not where I once was. God, you turned it around. God, I'm not still, I'm not dealing with that addiction no more. God, you turned it around. God, I am walking in freedom only because you turned it around. It's only because of you. I thank God for all these amazing grace. And God, I pray that those who are watching right now is feeling your presence and truly remembering what you have done for them. There's freedom in your name. There's deliverance in your name. There's salvation in your name. There's healing in your name. Because your name is above all names. And you're worthy of all the praise. Lord, we love you and we thank you. We give you the glory and all honor and all praise due to you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And all God's people say, Amen. Let's give Jesus a hand clap.
And that's why we always push together, we build together, we grow because it's going to take all of us, right? You know the old saying they used to say, it takes a village to raise right? Yeah, it's, it's going to take all of us to um, um, truly um, 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 tackle this task that God has given uh, uh, given his church. And so um, whichever way that you feel, thank you, God, whichever way that you feel that you can help um, um, the church in any way, um, um, please do uh, 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 reach out to me, man. We, we, we're in this thing together. It's not about, okay, well, he, he's a pastor. He's going to do He's going to. No, no, no. We're all in this thing together. So however you feel that you can help in whatever area, say, you know what, I think the church uh, could use this or do this or do this. Man, hit me up. Let's, let's discuss it. Let's see how we can move forward. So we love you all. All right. We're saying our benediction scripture. We want you to speak this into someone's life as we speak this into your into your lives. Here we go. One, two, three. May, May the Lord, Lord bless you and keep you. May, May the Lord, Lord smile down on you and show you his kindness. May, May the Lord, Lord answer your prayer and give you peace. And Lord, this is our prayer for your people, and we give you the glory. It's in Jesus' precious name that we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Here we go. Ready? Pray. Yeah.